Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Are you confused about when to click once and when to click twice? Are you an uncontrollable clicker? You just click, 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 click until you can get stuff done. Well, let me show you in this quick little video the difference between click once and double click. All right, let's get to it. So let's start by talking about our menus. To get to the menu within Windows, you have, you have the little window symbol at the bottom left click once on that. So kind of think of it as if it's a button, that usually means I only need to click once. I am using the word usually, so I'm not going to say it's 100% of the time because there are some options here. So if I'm using this Windows menu and I want to go into Word, I can just click once on this button. I do not need to double click. One click on the button and that'll open up Word for me. Now I'm actually going to close this because I want to show you that the Word was actually open already. If you look at the bottom of my screen on the taskbar, there is a Word icon. So I'm going to close this Word. And I'm just going to go to that bottom button. And how many times do you think I'm going to click? Just once. So click once here. I actually have a few things open, so I do need to pick which one. And it's actually this one here. Now within this document, we're going to look at how many times do I click. So if I'm picking from a menu, I click once. If I pick something from the menu, again, I'm just clicking once, so that's a button. I'm just going to click once on. If it's a drop-down menu of some kind, again, I would just click once. Okay? And I don't want that, so I'm just going to hit the undo, click it once. All right, so menus, buttons, kind of think of the idea of clicking only once on those things. Now, in a document itself, if I want to click on this picture here and maybe move it around, I can click once to access that picture. If I want to choose this table in the document, so let's just go down further. Again, I can click. Clicking once here is a little tricky because I, when I click once, it's clicking in the table somewhere. If I want to actually access that whole table, I would click this little handle at the top left there. Okay, let's close out of this example. Let's go on to something different. Now, once you're in a website, clicking changes again. Usually on a website, you're only having to click once because it's, the website's providing you with either little hyperlinks, underlined words to help you get to something, or buttons. So let's look at this example here. So on my website, there's a button here. If I were to click once, that opens up whatever is behind that button, which is, like, is allowing you to make an appointment with me. Okay, let's go back to that website. And usually on a website, if you hover on something, you'll notice that your mouse changes to a little hand, uh, which is suggesting that you can click on that item. I mean, the examples I'm showing you here are buttons, so you'll probably know that you can click on it anyways, but sometimes it's words that could be on the website that are underlined or something. This picture here, if I clicked on it, it would take me into something and the button again there. And then everything down here is all a menu. So just one click, one click for virtually everything on this website. And really for most websites you visit, I'm trying to think of an example where it would be two clicks and I can't right now. So if you have an example you can share with me, go right ahead. But otherwise we're going to say when you're on a web page, one click is all you need to get from one place to another. Click on buttons, click on hyperlinks, click on menus, one click is all you need. Okay, so to sum up the one clicks, menus, buttons, websites, if you want to click to go from one place to another, it's really just using the, the one click method, right? Click to go there, click to go here, click on something to select it, that's one click. So very controlled, just one little click, right? No double clicking necessary. One more area that I should talk about with one clicking is um, actually the Windows files area. So let's say you are trying to access um, your file folders uh, within Windows, then you want to do a one click to go to find that file. So on the left side here, so let's say you want to access a file from your file folders, then one click is all you need. Um, we're going to go to the left side here, pick a folder, we'll say courses, and then I can say, so now it gets tricky. So if I'm on the left, I click once and I, there's little arrows so I can actually pick different layers if I want. Um, with the arrows, I can click once. Now, if I go to something on the right, which is really where the files are, if I want to open something up on the right here, I have to double click. So here's where double clicking starts. So left, kind of like the menu, but 
not quite the same. It's a listing of our files. That's only one click. To access information in the files area, we're doing two clicks. So I did two clicks with the file folder to open it up. And now if I want to open up one of these files, again, one click is not going to do it. So, so that's kind of a good example for you though. If you try something, you click once, nothing happens, click again, right? But if you click twice and something happens that you didn't want to have happen, that's not good, right? So it's always better to click once and then have to double click instead, right? So uh, with the file, if I want to open up a file, I'm going to double click to open up the file. So this is where double clicking begins. Okay, and once I'm in the file, I can click once to click on different areas or select stuff that I want to access, right? But let's talk about double clicking now. So we used um, two clicks to open up this Excel file. I'm gonna just minimize this now and give you another example. Let's say we're on your desktop. If you have any icons on your desktop, maybe it's for a program that you use a lot, or maybe it's for a file that you like to access quickly, those icons that are on your desktop if you just click them once, nothing happens. So those ones you will need to do the double click on. So two clicks. And when we say two clicks, that's two steady clicks. You can't be moving your mouse lots while you're clicking. So two clicks without moving the mouse. Keep that mouse steady. Okay. So two clicks opened up the file. Okay. And I'm going to click to min minimize this. I don't need to see it right now. If I go back to our Word example, with two clicks, what can happen once we're inside a document is it'll, it'll let us select a word two clicks, selects one word, and then we can do something with that word like bolding and so on, right? But one click lets us just move that mouse or that cursor around on the page. So again, if you have any icons on your desktop, that's where the two clicking is going to start. Otherwise, if you want to access your menu, as we said in the beginning, that's just one click to access your menu and then one click to pick a program that you want to work with. Okay, so hopefully this gives you the ability to click with purpose. Remember one click when you're clicking on menus or toolbars or within a page in Word or in Excel, you just wanna to click to move your mouse to different places or onto different things like the pictures and tables I showed you. And then the double click was where we had to use it when we wanted to open up a file from our file explorer when we had wanted to open up a file that's on our desktop. Or I, I don't have a lot on my desktop, but if you have lots of little icons on your desktop, double click is what's necessary to start whatever is on that desktop as an icon. Otherwise, single click, control that clicking, click with purpose. Thanks, bye-bye.